Similar to this concept of getting a token is the username. Now I mentioned what an account is. It's just an entry into a database and that entry defines the entity that is being authenticated. Now for you as a user, when you're sitting down as a computer, you're going to have a username. This is an easy to remember name. This is your name, how you remember who you are, what represents you on the network. In reality, however, the computer system links your username to a specific special number ID. That's what it uses behind the scenes to keep track of everything. Your username, though, should typically be a common name that is based on some type of a naming standard. Now, very common in modern organizations and networks is to follow some type of naming standard. Now, a naming standard really is good for network and system administrators. It means that I apply the same format of a username to all my users and to all my resources, frankly, no matter what they happen to be called. Let me give you an example of this. Most modern networks typically use the first initial of the first name and the entire last name. So following this model, my username would be C. Hunt on a given network. Now sometimes it's reversed. We'll use the entire first name and the first initial of the last name. It doesn't necessarily really matter as long as it is consistent. Now even though we have this common name that follows a standard, the system still uses a system identifier or a SID or a user ID, a UID, depending on the operating system and the specific name applied. This system identifier is a number that uniquely identifies and is linked to the common name, but is really applied to the resources and the access control lists on the system as a whole. 